Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 219 of uh, Mountain Blade Warband, and I'm trying to... I thought the these two little towns or villages must be tied into this castle. So, but when we talk, took over Chalbeck, uh, apparently not. Uh, so they must be tied to Tyr, or Tyr I know... Uh, Hain is definitely tied into them, but see these two. I have no idea why they are still independent and how. How do we take control of them? Um, I think maybe Tear. Anyway, so we uh, the last episode I recorded was yesterday. So I'm trying to. Uh, so we have. Uh, I'm trying to understand the current situation, and uh, so I remember Tear is glitched. Uh, and uh, we can continue to take more castles, but and give them away. But I don't think uh, we don't have the lords to do that. Uh, I'm trying to get Nuas and Atis to be our part of our lord, but I can't see them. I don't see them though. Um, so anyway, um, we have a bunch of troops with us. So we, I think we took. Uh, we took 15, uh, I think we suffered like 16 or 14 or 15 casualties. That's why we picked up uh, 7 Nord recruits. Uh, oh no, so that's, that's 12, 13, 17, 19, 20, 28, 30, I don't know how. Why do we take on so many? Oh, do, oh! I think we came in with just with under strength. We are not full strength, uh, but we still took 14 plus kind of damage. So that's why we have a lot of uh, a number of uh, infantry with us. So anyway, let us leave uh, this castle. I don't think they are in a position. Elderdai has been raided by Jarl Armdar. Kingdom of the Nords. Wow, oh, we're too far. I'm sorry, we, we're too far away. Uh, Jarl Amdar. And maybe we can catch them on the way back. Elorda is uh, right here at the edge. Huh. Yeah, I don't think we can catch them. Uh, we're so far away. Okay, uh, we gave that uh, castle to Meriga. So, who also has a lot of relatives? And hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about Elorda. Huh, Jilbegi. So we can continue to take castles, but then who do we give it to? Uh, under siege. And so they're down to just these. Vercheg. I'm, I would like to go and take Vercheg. Uh, I think we can do it, but can we hold on to it? Uh, and how do we transfer troops to it? Uh, that is a real issue. Uh, I think we looked at Sargoth. Sargoth is also heavily defended. Vercheg, the last time we checked, uh, was they had like over a hundred people in them, so it's this. That's not very much. Uh, your party has been sp spotted by Hain. Okay, I'm I'm trying to come over here and uh, drop off the troops we picked up in Oxhall. <sighs> so the village of Munir. I mean Elerda. So that means uh, Randy will not be giving us much uh, income this time because it has been raided. It's been looted. Sadly, we are very far away. Approaches you. Tell the one that we will come shortly. Yes. 
Okay, the dawn of a new day. Man, I really. Uh, okay, um, nine ten. Okay, let's save it here. It should be nine eleven. Uh, okay, and then I want to rush back to our area because uh, they can start just raiding the other villages, huh? Yeah, like Munir is all oh, is he's up here. That is his village. Uh, well, but he's not protecting it, so it's pretty disappointing in that regard. The PC, uh, the AI is not very smart, and uh, that is something we have to live with. Well, that's good and bad in the sense. Uh, who's this guy? Lord Riga <laughs> has been taken prisoner by the kingdom of Nords. Oh, he was out there. Uh, Hmm. Okay, let's go to the garrison and let's drop off these people. The people that we picked up, uh, three to Swedian footmen. Give all because the Swedian footmen can become um, can be trained to become uh, men at arms and then ultimately to. Uh, To Swedian knights. Okay, well, let's give the Kyrgyz lancers, Vagar knights, sharpshooters. I think these are like at the at the top tier already, so they're not gonna go uh, further up. Uh, Kyrgyz uh, horse archers. See, they have yeah, they are. I think they are. Kyrgyz veteran, yeah, they are at the at the t apex of their uh, development. Wow, interesting. Uh, so, like, Rodox can still become sharpshooters. Yeah, it will show up if they have more room, so they can become Sweden men at arms, and that is maybe something we might want to actually uh, develop. Sweden footmen. Uh, because we have been taking losses on our uh, Vagar Knights. You know, let's take all. And then as we travel around, hopefully they should level up. So our going out fighting is not... I don't think it's the most economical... Uh, situation for us because we cannot uh, given the way the mechanics is we cannot hog all the castles we take if we can uh, that would be extremely wonderful because uh, oh can we sell no uh, right because then uh, we will have uh, I should put it here like I said, because the AI is not very smart, uh, and that's why it is very hard uh, to take castles, and we don't get any benefit from it. We'll have to give it to our guys. I wish they had more olives. Uh, that few, by the time we get to Hallmar, they will all be eaten up. Okay. Uh, okay, head back. So we are at max, right? I think. Yeah, we are at max. So I'm hoping, yeah, these can become Sweden men at arms. And then, oh, we uh, these guys we need to give also. Like I said, these are freebies. Like, uh, these are back up. Wow, Nord Warriors. Uh, once you get to the point where there are 35 of them, we will uh, try to cheese it so that we can get them... 
as our uh, as working for us. Uh, but that's got to be done during a peacetime period. Yeah, I think we went there with about a hundred knights, so we're down. We're down five. <sighs> okay. Anyway, uh, you know what? Hmm. Let's visit the towns. You know, I think. Let's not bring too. We're in a time of war, so I think we should just. Uh, we should try to get more recruits. Uh, let's give them. Uh, so I'm mixed, all right. I st I want to grow these guys up, so we have a huge, uh, like a huge uh, su surplus of uh, Swedish knights, knowing that how powerful they are. Maybe. We should do them during peacetime, or it doesn't matter. In peacetime, we're also recruiting. In uh, time of war, we're also recruiting. <laughs> so I'm really torn. Um, uh, I think let us just bring them with us. Okay, I think we'll just we'll still hit the towns, but then we'll just do business. Like here, we can. Just check that these towns are not actually being raided. Uh, how about these? Peshmi. Right now they are really wide open. Uh, yeah, we're not there. And the lords, apparently they don't care. The lords that we gave them to. Because, yeah, that's that's understandable. Because, like, we gave this town to Meriga so that he become our, when he, beca when he became our vassal. But we gave him a castle up north. So that is going to be more attractive to him. So that he'll make his way up there. I hope he makes his way up there quickly. Because if not, it will be under siege again. Yep. Right, right, right. So I... My only, uh, I think my only, I think offsetting that is I think we have severely, um, what do you call this, decimated the troops of the Nord Nordic tribes, so, ooh, 41, so that they cannot really stage any uh, attacks on our villages. See, this is again part of Munir. But we gave him, I think we gave him either Rybelet or, and then we, this one, we, I can't remember who owns what already. Uh, I got to list it down. Uh, so, so we just couldn't, yeah, we, see, we're, yeah, the empire is so big and uh, our vassals are stupid because they're out the, uh, the chomping of the bit to be out there, uh, what do you call this? Uh, pillaging rather than guarding their own uh, their own fiefs. Okay, since we're on the way, might as well pass by Chipstin. If we uh, find bandits, we can help them out. And then, uh, if not, we uh, will at least build up a friendly, friendly relations with the villagers. Yalibe. Ouch, I really hate this. But there's not much we can do. Wow, they got nothing. Hopefully, some of our men at arms, yes, have leveled up, yes.
So in essence, we will be the force that uh, need to take care of this sector because um, most of the guys whom we give, except for Mishad, Mishad should be in this area also because most of his towns or most of his villages are in this area. Okay, uh, dawn of a new day, save as. So what's happening in the other parts of the uh, area? I guess uh, there's not much we can do, right? Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that we have really um, we have really what do you call this handicap the Nords so that they cannot really yeah they cannot uh, they're in no position to threaten the castles that we have given out. The villages, yes, because uh, they can build up uh, like whoever just raided El Elerda. It's, uh, yeah, I, well, anyway, where are we? Village of F Finada. See, the Norse has the same problem. Like, uh, their villages are being raided by left and right by the uh, Vagars. And I think this thing under besiege will will one day fall. Oh, it has been freed up. Okay, we can take Tel Rog, uh, but then I don't know who to give it to. Okay, let's go manage our garrison. Uh. Jeremus, you have to move down. These guys, we have to move up. So right now, we are not going... I don't think we will be involved in any fighting. We can sell that. Uh, no. Maybe we can do a quick hop over to uh, to Nara, so that we can sell the uh, we can drop off the uh, we can drop off the hides so to our tannery. Right now, I'm not. I don't think we can bump into any Nords uh, because they are keeping to themselves. Uh, they are in a fight with the Vagars, so, and they're just trying to hold on to what they have. I am surprised Vercheg is not under, uh, it's not being besieged by the Vagars. Uh, and so, uh, anyway, uh, so right now we're just building up the reputation, uh, the, what do you call it, not reputation, but the um, experience of our troops. In the meantime, yeah, let's just go check on our on our properties so that we can buy stuff. I think we have a lot of veggies. Oh no, we're done. We ate them. <laughs> okay. Um, so Mishad should be uh, should be uh, yeah patrolling all of these see because they're no longer since we assigned them to other people we cannot tell they are being uh, what do you call it? they're being looted unless we check intermittently or regularly okay let's come to Nara We're just currently killing time. We could be up in the north area and just continue to look for enemies or opposing or weak vassals.
Okay, let's go to our tannery. That's all for now, and uh, yeah, right now we're not going to do anything interesting or exciting because uh, first, I don't think there will be a lot of lords out there uh, or Nordic lords that can actually fight us. Oh, they got one olive here. Ooh, bread is expensive for them, and how much are the um, grains? How much can we sell the grains for? Uh, back to the tannery. So, so now that, uh, so anybody, uh, since you guys, so now we know that we can actually make money just buying from the villages and selling to the, uh, to the big town just next door. Uh, I think, uh, if we have to play this all over again, I think uh, we will. It will not be so hard. It it will be a lot easier. Okay, let us leave. Oh, we did not check the people in Holmar. I'm hoping that Atis and uh, Nuas uh, come to visit so that we can accept them as. Um, as vassals and then we can go out and take uh, every vassal we take will take another castle Wow that's expensive okay let's leave If we were up north, uh, I, th I think it would be easy for us all, uh, to upgrade the people because uh, currently the Swedians that we're training up, they're all considered infantry. So therefore we cannot... Um, we cannot... Uh, we cannot catch the uh, fast-moving uh, troops here bandit guys that are in the the, the step bandits uh, but up north we can actually it would be very easy to train up these guys because uh, we're dealing with foot soldiers or with infantry also so uh, but not here so I wish uh, if we were in time of peace I think maybe that's what we should do so that right now we should uh, not be we should concentrate on continuing to recruit and then once we have a, an offer of truce from the Nord, then we should head north with a bunch of um, infantry and level them up. I think uh, that might be a better way of doing it. Okay, I think so. Because right now, um, just using the normal experience, experience gained every day, uh, it's going to be a slow process. From six dinars, they become ooh twenty dinars. From six dinars, they become twenty dinars, and then they become thirty-four dinars. Well, wow, thirty-four—that is a lot cheaper now. It used to be forty-four. That's ten bucks a piece. Okay, uh, so I will be continuing to do this until there are new developments. Uh, so I'm not seeing any uh, signs that the Nords are invading our realm. So I'm hoping these guys up north that we gave the castles to will be able to survive on their own. Oh, we looted that ourselves. Okay, one of our lords did that. Okay, uh, uh, there goes our timer. So uh, let me cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.